Hello and welcome to ESPN Cricket Info Dailies. I'm Ronu Kapoor with the top cricket news this Monday. First up, a wet outfield in Guwahati forces the first India Sri Lanka T20I to be abandoned without a ball bold. The BCCI pulls Prithvi Shaw out of Mumbai's ongoing Ranji fixture due to injury. And Canterbury Kings' Leo Carter becomes the first New Zealander to hit six sixes in an over in T20 cricket. The first T20I between India and Sri Lanka had to be abandoned without a ball bowled after the winter rains in Guwahati resulted in a wet outfield at the Barsapara Cricket Stadium. The rain came down just after Virat Kohli won the toss for India and decided to have a bowl. The showers that followed, albeit for a brief period, resulted in wet patches on the pitch which eventually led to the abandonment. The second of the three-match T20I series takes place in Indore on January 7th. In other news from India, opening batsman Prithvi Shaw has left the Mumbai camp midway through their ongoing Ranji Trophy fixture against Karnataka at the Bandra Kurla complex due to a left rotator cuff injury. He has been rushed to the National Cricket Academy in Bengaluru to assess the extent of damage. Shaw picked up the injury on Friday when he fell on his left shoulder while backing up to stop an overthrow. He left the field immediately and did not return. Mumbai's coach Vinayak Samant revealed that Shaw was in significant pain and was headed to the NCA in Bengaluru after the BCCI sent an email requiring him to do so for further assessment. And finally, to some news from the Super Smash New Zealand's domestic T20 tournament where Canterbury Kings batsman Leo Carter became the first New Zealander to hit six sixes in an over in T20 cricket. The 25-year-old smashed a match-winning unbeaten 29-ball 70, which included 36 runs of the 16th over of the chase that was bowled by Northern District's left-arm spinner Anton Devisic. Carter becomes just the fourth player in T20 cricket to achieve the feat after India's Yuvraj Singh, Worcestershire's Ross Whiteley and Kabul's Wanan's Hazratullah Zazai.